the fact that this interview is longer, you will see that is more as a. It's, it's my father. Um, it's we can call it a monologue, and but it's okay because I think he deserves uh, this little bit of attention because he. Um, he speaks from a different perspective. He has this position as a representative of, of Roma, who, um, a representative of people. Uh, and he managed to, to help all these um, Roma to find a different uh, alternative to not leave the state, and why living in Romania to have at least uh, dignity. And he manages to create this bridge between the institutions um, and the Roma people that are highly disregarded, um, not represented, and uh, they are they live in segregated areas. They don't have access to electricity, water, and so on. And this bridge that I'm talking about is mainly based on on politics. And the fact that he managed to to create this, it's a uh, response of the um, of the need. It was a need in Romania, uh, each county to have a representative. So he's one of these representatives, and he represents Roma at political level. But also, he has an or his own organization that works with youth um, on remembrance and uh, on education access. I'm sorry, I, I did not understand the question. I think, um, I think, uh, like, why, why is it uh, a problem um, to get back to Romania once you uh, left it? Did I get it right? Well, um, first of all, it was problematic to live in Romania, and there was, um, they didn't. In the interviews, I did not, uh, and in, in my own research, I did not see this fear very well um, described, uh, that they are scared and that it's difficult to be in Romania. And it, there was no, um, they were more scared that they will have to leave again the same situation. And that was uh, difficult because their kids were not, uh, having access to education, they could not work, they could not um, access uh, health care, there was no possible ways and Romania was going through a lot of um, political changes because of the revolution, the communism fell, and there were constant changes but never Roma included. And the moment Roma, um, this, this group uh, returned back to Romania, they were um, criticized by Romanians that were also in Rostock and also applied for asylum and also wanted to find a better life here. They, they blamed Roma for the attacks and that was also a difficult thing because um, definitely they did not expect those things to happen and once again there was this separation, you, us, them, they. Yeah, but when they returned in Romania, it was a hundred times uh, more difficult. And I think this was their greatest fear, but not um, because they they had to take things from the beginning. They had to find places where to live and find jobs, and it was also expensive to go back. Ich bin da selber in der Nähe aufgewachsen und ich fand das ähm, wirklich mal interessant, auch mal die Sichtweise von euch zu sehen und nicht jedes Mal was anderes ähm, eingeredet zu bekommen, sondern wirklich mal die Perspektive hören und sehen zu können, wie es euch Menschen da überhaupt ergangen ist. Und das fand ich für mich selber auch mal super wichtig und das fand ich auch wirklich schön, mal von anderen jetzt so die ehrliche Meinung zu hören und ja, ich 
hoffe eigentlich, dass es sich ändert. Also für mich ist es auch ein Wunsch, dass der Rassismus mittlerweile weniger wird, aber man kann es nur hoffen. So, um, she says thank you and she uh, thought it was really, really interesting um, to hear your perspective, um, like the people who lived, um, like um, the people who lived in the house, in the Sunflower House, to hear what they, what their, uh, what their perspective on the attacks were. And you were uh, growing up um, in um, nearby Rostock and, uh, and next to the Sunflower House. So you're from Lichtenhagen. Um, like from the place where the attacks happened, and um, and it's always like it's always the same uh, perspective on the attacks that um, like a, um, uh, from like usually from the people who attack the building. Like we we know that their perspective, uh, but not from the people who are inside. And I think that's um, like very good and very thankful. <laughs> Thank you. It's. Um it's important to, to see that this is um, interesting and new for the audience. So I think uh, maybe one or two more questions. Um, one, two, three, four, five. <laughs> We take the time. Um, hi. Um, do you know if there was any possibility for the people who returned to Romania to get any kind of psychological help or um, to yeah, get along with the trauma or receive any kind of help afterwards? There was no possible help to these people and to this group and this was the case in the entire Romania uh, there was no uh, interest and they, they were not recognized as victims but more as um, um, nomads who left immediately as traders after the communism fell and they left and they could not uh, make anything here because they hate uh, they got hated and they more they reinforced more their uh, hate on on Burma. I'm talking about Romanians and there was no such thing as um, regarding them as victims or seeing this psychological perspective and i think this comes also inside the inside the community you don't they don't see themselves as victims and they don't think that this was something against them and if they are they, they don't recognize their trauma and they don't talk about it, they don't have any space and they don't have any notion of this and mainly when I spoke to them they, they, they think this was not organized and this was something that happened at, in a very um, quick moment. I know here Oh, I saw him. Hallo, ich bin Mutter. Ich möchte über die Zeit, in der dein Vater im Sonnenhaus war. Ich war damals äh, antifaschistische Aktivistin. Ich habe jetzt. Okay, um, so this is Uta. She, um, when, uh, when the attacks happened uh, on the Sunflower House, she was like an antifascist activist. Und ich habe die ganze Zeit heute hier das Gefühl, mich bei dir als Stellvertreterin für deinen Vater und für alle Menschen im Sonnenhaus zu entschuldigen, dass wir es nicht geschafft haben, euch zu helfen. Und sie, ähm she feels the need uh, to, uh, to say sorry that they couldn't help you. Um, back then, when the attacks happened. Um, thank you for, for saying this, but um, I think we moved a few years and two centuries from the need to get a sorry or an apology, even though it's really important. Um, this, uh, this group has, uh, this minority has been highly affected 
for centuries and an apology this time, it, maybe it's a step, but um, it's... Thank you. <laughs> three more hands and I think then we um, then we come to an end. Hello Isabella and thank you a lot for your presence here and telling us these stories. I think it's a quite important historical document what we produced with the films. And my question, I have a lot of questions um, but just one um, regarding the first film, the interview with Daniel, uh, he said something about that the people uh, from the Sundlerman house have been helped by other people that, get, that got them with the cards. And I was asking myself, have this maybe been also German Roma and Sinti? Because we have also Roma and Sinti community here. And I did never hear about their position in this, in this case. If you know something about this, then that would be my question. Thank you. Yeah, this is a good question. Um, there were a lot of Romanians as well. So uh, the Romanians arrived here not as asylum seekers, but they used the facility, the places where they could leave and they could stay and they could be accommodated. And this, these families came before the revolution. So. Um, that's one of the things. And then after the revolution, um, many families in Roma, both Roma and Romanians, arrived here and they created this connection with each other and they, they became friends. And they, they had this little, uh, let's call it alternative to make um, money. <laughs> These uh, Romanians were uh, bringing to Roma families um, things that they could use, like clothes or maybe uh, things for their rooms, bed sheets, um, for the kitchen, or sometimes food. And they created this exchange, and Roma were paying with money. So these people that had money were these ones, these specific ones. And they were vans most of the time and they were using these vans to transport Roma to other facilities because some of them could speak German, some of them had better access, and yeah, that, that's the real uh, story behind uh, the cars and so on. And he said that these people were scared. Uh, and there is a joke uh, among, um, among this group that all the time when they were gathering, and they were playing music, or because most of them are artists, the Romanians were always scared, and they called them uh, chickens. Uh, but yeah, it was a, a, a joke, and I, I think it's, it's a funny thing to say, um, because we don't have to be all the time sad and concerned. And then um, I see, but why, I say, why you were doing this joke to them? What jokes were they doing to you? And they say, oh, we were uh, crows. That's why we told them uh, chickens, and that was uh, that was funny and interesting. Um, but the, about the Sinti community, I don't know about that. I would love to make more, uh, to explore more, and to learn if they had more connections with that. Yeah. So the last two hands over there, I see one. A red uh, T-shirt. Also, I am Simon Jonas, and we are in the Bündnis aktiv. Auch dieses Jahr wird der Kanzlerin haben. Ich möchte erst erstmal bei bei Ihnen bedanken, dass Sie die also sich getraut haben, hierher gekommen und auch diesen Videoinstall schon gemacht haben endlich, dass die damalig betroffenen Menschen auch zu Wort kommen, also nach 30 Jahren. 
Um, so his name is Imam Yonas. He is uh, active in the Alliance um, of Civil Society Organizations who is working on the commemoration this year. And he wants to thank you to come to Rostock and to share the perspective on, on the attacks. I wish him father good Besserung. It's a normal from here to grüßen auch. And my Frage is daran, ob Sie diesem Projekt weiterführen, ob Sie Interesse haben, auch mit uns von äh, einer Initiative vor Ort zu haben, ein Bündnis vor Ort zu haben und gemeinsam an die Geschichte weiter zu bearbeiten. So, he wishes um, um, good, good health to your father and hopes that he's going to be all right uh, soon. And, uh, and this question is if you uh, would like to have this alliance uh, as an ally uh, in, in Rostock to continue um, to work um, together on the commemoration on the attacks and if you yeah, would like to have this connection to the alliance, I'm not sure if that's, uh, do you understand what I want to say? Thank you so much and um, thank you for um, uh, proposing and uh, for showing us um, opportunities it is very important to connect, to collaborate, and um, what I've learned from uh, Shukarina, from one of the um, women that you heard, she, she thought that the fact that these people are interested in what happened in Rostock, she thought maybe they want to give us a house, or maybe they want to take us now in Germany and to respect us this time. And that wouldn't be a bad option for the new generations. Yeah, but any type of, uh, of connection and support and uh, network is very welcomed and we are happy to, to provide and to learn and to... I just wanted to thank you for being here um, and I wanted to uh, say I was a student uh, in the time uh, when this happened here in Rostock. Uh, I don't come from uh, Rostock, I did not grow up here and um, yes, I uh, watching your films um, was very touching and I felt ashamed of, uh, I felt a deep shame of, uh, what? I felt a deep shame for just thinking on me in that time because it was a rough time where a lot of violence happened with, watch, with which I had to handle but um, yes, I thank you for sharing uh, for sharing these experiences. I thank you for doing these interviews and I feel ashamed uh, that, that it's you that have to do that work after 13 years. And I feel uh, so deep shame that it took 30 years uh, to have this perspective for us. And I, f yes, and I, I want to thank you so much that you did the work that we should have done uh, before. And um, yes, it is so good that you do it. And I hope you will continue. And I hope uh, that we will, uh, yes, hear from you. Thank you. Thank you for, for your words. I honestly don't know what to say back, but um, thank you, thank you to all of you. Maybe you can um, tell us uh, if you plan to do more interviews, is that something that lies ahead of you or? Um, for me and teaming up with uh, my father is very important for us because we are in Romania and we want to do something there and we have 
we have seen, you know, these waves of, of migration from Roma, forced migration to, they have to leave Romania to go in, in other states, and we don't want that. I think, I think there is possible ways for them to get what they deserve as humans in Romania. And for us, it's very important to do, um, um, we, we want to break the narrative, but we also want to bring a change because we think that we can take good examples from Germany as well. And to do interviews, to do any sort of initiative, uh, we need ideas, we need uh, support, we need uh, um, inspiration. And of course, we are, we are just started and we are still a little bit clumsy and we still need to interact uh, with each other. Like I, I, I feel myself learning a lot and understanding my perspective and, and I'm not perspective, but my position because I have different perspective and I have different position and um, there is a lot to be uncovered and covered. Yes, Johan, I see you. I know we have to come to an end. But let me just ask one really, really last question. Um, because, I mean, we are in the middle of the remembrance and of the commemoration. Tomorrow, there's going to be like the official day of, um, of the town of Rostock. You're going to, be, you're going to take part, you're going to meet the president. And, and on Saturday, we have the demonstration. Maybe just quick, like, how, how do you um, go into the next days, what do you think is important for the next days, um, for yeah, for tomorrow and for the demonstration on Saturday, for example? I will reflect on everything that happened and I really would love to respond with a more clear mind. Because I came here from uh, with a different attitude because I have a responsibility bringing my my father's message, and I still haven't, you know, um, created my my own um, my own image. I I will respond to that tomorrow, and I will reflect because this is one thing important one important thing that I've learned working with um, um, remembrance initiative that reflecting is very important. And Roma, what they never had a chance to do is reflect, and they never had a, a voice, they never had a space to have their conclusion. So I will follow this <laughs> procedure. Thank you. Yes, We were looking forward to your um, answer. And uh, I think I speak for everybody in the room when I say thank you very much for sharing your perspective and for doing the interviews here and to speak with us today and um, for staying some days here in Rostock. Thank you very much for attending. Um, and I think a very special uh, thanks go to uh, Stefanie Ulster and Johan Henningsen for making this possible and for creating this event.